Welcome to What Wendy Wears Wedding Dress Edition. So what I'm looking for is a wedding guest dress. Um, so all of the items that you see here today, I purchased from City Chic. Um, and they were having this fabulous sale that I believe all of the dresses that I'm trying on today are less than $40 a piece. So if you head over to their website, you'll be able to see their dresses to see if the sale is still going on. Not quite sure if they still are, but if they are, all the items that you see here today are still going to be linked below. So this is the first dress from City Chic and it is a faux wrap style dress. And I really do like it. My husband was telling me that it looks like a robe, but honestly, I really like the fit of it and how I feel um, wearing the dress. Now, um, this dress in the front has this little crisscrossing in the front detail, which I like. Um, it does have a um, belt that is built in. Um, I honestly, you know, don't mind it with the belt on here, but I think it looks better like this because it looks like you are tying the dress around. Also, like I mentioned, it is faux, so here it does not come undone. Um, it does have elastic here in the back, so this is where it's stretched. I went ahead and just put it right over my head. It has plenty of room in the arm area, which I do like, and I like the fact that it's long sleeve. So we are going to be going to a, a wedding which takes place in a church, and then a couple hours later they have a reception. And I honestly think that this would be a very appropriate dress for the church ceremony. I love the way it fits, the way it feels. It has like a satin feel to it. So super uh, comfortable and it's airy. Um, and I love the fact that it's longer in the back. So when you're sitting down, you don't have any issues. Also in the front, how it crisscrosses. On the inside, it is lined. So as you can see here, it has this lining. So it is comfortable. So this for me, I absolutely love. Sizing and all the um, items are gonna be listed in the description box. So this is the next dress and I do like the style of this dress and I absolutely love the color. Couple things, when I got it, I opened it up and I noticed that there was already a stain on this so maybe somebody wore it and returned it, I don't know. But uh, this dress has to go back because I am not cleaning something I just purchased. Uh, so that's one. Other thing is, is that on my breast area, it fits me a little tight as you can see because it's opening. Here it does have like a little string or a little um, stitching in there that kind of holds this closed. I can undo it that way it kind of releases a little bit of um, fabric at the top, but it may be a little bit too far open and it's gonna show a lot of cleavage, which if you don't mind, that's, that's it is an option. The rest of the dress, I think it fits pretty well. Um, it skims my body. I am wearing shapewear underneath um, a little bit on the back as far as the detail in the back You could a little see my shapewear just a little bit in the back uh, So I would have to get a better uh, type of shapewear that is not going to show any seams But overall, I really do like the look of this dress and the feel of this dress It's super comfortable as far as the fit around the waist and the hips. It is lined underneath and I absolutely love this color, especially for summer months. I think I, I, I really do like it and I really think that it's appropriate, especially for a dinner. Fabulous look. So let's move on to the next one. So this dress kind of looks like the last dress. The only thing is, is that it's cut a little different. Here in the front, it doesn't have that crisscrossing, so I don't have any issues with um, the size in the front. Um, it does have built-in cups in this portion. So, um, you know, if you were a uh, large breasted, I don't think that you actually need a bra for this, but overall I do love the fit and how it skims my body. And I love the fact that it has like this little detail. So it kind of, uh, keeps the focus over on this side instead of in the midsection. I actually really do like the length of this, how it is a lot longer in the front as far as the length compared to the other one. Plenty of room um, in the front to move. And I love the fact that it has like a little train in the back that looks a little longer. So I do like the fit and how it fits me. Um, this dress, I do really, really like. 
But I'm just curious, I mean, do you think it's too much for a dinner party? Would you wear red? But I absolutely love the fact that it skims my body the way I like it. And then on top of that, I think with my blonde hair right now, the color that it is, it actually looks really good. Um, I wouldn't wear a black bra. I know you guys could see the black bra. Um, but uh, honestly, um, I do really like this. So, so far, um, two out of three. So this dress, I love this teal color and I love the fit. It's nice and flowy. It is not very uh, tight or, or form fitting. So it has uh, some flowiness to it. This is also a faux wrap dress. Um, I just went ahead and put it right over my head uh, because it does have the elastic in the back that stretches. It um, actually also has elastic in the front. So all the way around, it has the elastic. Um, the, the pattern in the front, it does crisscross, but it does have uh, lining on the inside. So that way, if it does sweep open, you are still covered with that lining. Uh, in the front, it has this faux cross in the front. Um, it does uh, tend to open up a little, so you may want to uh, put a little bit of tape or glue on there so then that way it doesn't come um, open. But I mean, overall, I don't think it's that low and it's that inappropriate. This is a really great summer dress, and I do really like this dress as well. Uh, but um, I don't know. What do you guys think about this dress? Um, I think it's kind of uh, very common to see dresses like this. Um, I like the long sleeve one better than this one uh, just because I just think that this is very common. But I do love the fit and I love the way it looks. So this is on maybe. So I decided to kind of go outside the box when it came to uh, wedding guest shopping and I figured, you know what, there are some people that don't like to wear dresses so maybe a pantsuit would be appropriate. Um, and I really think that there are some really great uh, jumpsuits that look great, especially that look very classy and appropriate for events, but not this one. Uh, this is like a linen blend uh, material, has pockets, which is nice. I love the detail in the front, but I just don't like the way it fits in the crotch area. Um, honestly, when I saw it on the model, it kind of looked like when she was wearing it, it kind of looks like a dress. I guess if she puts her legs together, it looks more like a dress. And then, you know, you can kind of see when she's walking that, it, you know, it is a pantsuit. Um, I don't like the little the crotch area. I like the fact that the straps are here and they are adjustable so you could adjust them. It does have a zipper in the back so you could get in and out. It does have a little opening here. I am still wearing my... Um, my shapewear underneath, I didn't take it off, but I just don't like the fit, especially the front area. So this is a no for me. So honestly, I think I might have saved the best for last and I really, really like this dress. So dress number one, I think was great for a church wedding, but for the dinner, I honestly really like this dress. So this is like a deep purple dress and it is, um, looks like lace but it is a uh, knit um and i absolutely love the fit and how it skims my body and then it flows out the color is amazing and i really think that this color is very beautiful for nighttime especially it being purple and just the fit of this dress is so comfortable and i like the exposed zipper in the back the way it fits and then um, also the straps, as you can see, they are adjustable. So if needed, you can always adjust it and it's fully lined underneath. So it has the lining available for you. So then that way, you know, you don't, you're not going to be feeling itchy all night or anything like that. And actually the dress isn't itchy at all because I could feel the material along uh, underneath my arms and it feels, you know, it's comfortable. It's not rough or anything like that. So honestly, I really think that this is my favorite out of all of the dresses that I tried on. Um, but I think I may keep the first one and this one, but I'm kind of on the fence about the red one. So let me know what you think about the red dress, if it's appropriate for a dinner or you think it's just too much because it's too loud or too bright. Um, but overall, um, I think it was a pretty successful haul. I, made a, I may have found my wedding guest dress. 
So there you have it, folks. Four dresses and one jumpsuit. If you like any of the items that you saw here today, they will be listed below in the description box along with the sizes that I did purchase. Um, if you like videos like this, please hit the subscribe, the like, and the notification bell. New videos do come out weekly, so you don't want to miss a thing. Also, I have an Instagram page, What Wendy Wears. There I post pictures on items that you see in my videos and how I style them. And you may have clothing in your closet that may look similar. Also, I suggested a video here that you may like. And to subscribe, just hit my image right at the top here, hit the subscribe button and you're all set. Thank you so much for my subscribers and my watchers. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you in the next one. So stay stylish, my friends.